Seminary and Institute teachers. I am back with more training for your online Seminary and Institute classes on Canvas. So I took a break for a while and now I'm teaching an Institute class. So I thought I would jump back on to my YouTube channel and make more training. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, there's some things that have changed in Canvas since I last used it. So um, I just wanted to do some updates to some of my videos and also just give some new content that might be helpful or helpful for y'all. So um, today I'm going to talk about adopting and adapting your modules, um, specifically with video and how you can add video into your modules. So what we're going to go over is what adopting and adapting is and how I feel like I'm adopting the doctrine and how, why I'm adapting it, um, why I'm adapting the modules, and then how um, you take videos from YouTube and put them into your Canvas module, how you edit your module, um, and kind of why and how I found the resource that I'm using and why I think it's a good resource. Um, okay, so let's get started. So first of all, what adopting and adapting is. So basically adopting is making sure that um, like you go into your Canvas module and you're reading over everything in it. So adopting would be staying um, within the well-defined boundaries of the doctrine um, and making sure that nothing that we put into um, our modules lies outside of that or that we use any resources that are maybe questionable. Um, so that's what adopting is. And then adapting is when you see something and you think maybe that's not quite the right thing for my students in their personal situations, or um, if it's kind of outdated, um, it's hard to keep everything up to date with the most recent talks on the different doctrines and principles. So some things will be a little bit out to date, out of date. You might think, oh, President Nelson just gave a talk on this. So I want to bring in that rather than this older talk that's that's in the module right now. Um, which that's totally fine if you find things within your modules and you want to make some changes so that they are the most up to date and the most relevant for the students' lives right now. Um, so my module that I want to change today is my devotional in my week eight module. I'm teaching the family, S, uh, not SFL. <laughs> That's one of my BYU classes. Um, ah, yes, Religion 200. There we go. <laughs> so this is my devotional page. And this week we're discussing the divine roles and responsibilities of men and women. And when I came across this devotional, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, this goes with what we were talking about last week. And we already hit these questions that it's saying to, you know, ponder. We already hit that last week in our in our gathering. And this specific quote um, or part of this talk and quote was already used in our lesson last week. And like, could they stand to listen to it again? Sure. But also, I feel like I could make a little effort and make it more applicable to what we're discussing this week. Um, so, not that this isn't great. I just think I could do something a little bit better for them. Um, so, this is the page that I want to edit. And then the video that I want to add because I'm just going to keep it simple, like this basic format, and just add another video. And the video that I want to add, I found on YouTube. And some people feel a little bit weird about using YouTube videos. They have concerns about videos that pop up in the end. But just so that you know how, how like the algorithm in YouTube works, basically the videos that pop up in the end are based on what the viewer has watched in the past. So like for me, what comes up, and you can even see it here, um, 
is like ambient music because I listen to ambient music a lot, a lot at work. Um, and like tabernacle choir songs and, uh, videos from the church. Cause that's what I watch pretty much all the time on YouTube. So that's what pops up at the end for me. Um, so you don't really have to be concerned about that with your students. Whatever they watch on YouTube is what's going to pop up at the end. And if it's something really weird, then I don't, then it's a fluke. <laughs> I don't know. But I wouldn't be too concerned about it. Um, so this video that I found is from Sister Bingham's talk from April 2020 General Conference about um, being united in accomplishing the Lord's work, like men and women being united. And so I thought that that would be really great for our topic this week that we're discussing. Um, and while this video itself isn't from the church, it's from a YouTube channel called Third Hour. And I feel comfortable with it because the content of it really is just Sister Bingham's talk. They've just added... Um, like video and pictures from the gospel library um, and some music to enhance um, what she's discussing. So I feel comfortable using it even though it's not directly from the church. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using. Okay, so let's go back to this page and let's start editing it. So I'm gonna click on the edit button. Okay, and I always take these, um, click on these little dots and pull them down so that I have more space to work with. Um, so I already wrote up what I want to put um, in the text here. And like I said, I want to just use the same format. I don't need to reinvent the wheel. So I'm just taking what I've already written in the in the note on my computer and pasting it here. Um, and basically the questions I'm asking here are just connected to what Sister uh, Bingham talks about in her message. And then same thing with this other sentence. I just updated it a little bit so it makes sense for the video that I want to share. And I don't want to change this. I I have no reason to change that. So yeah, I think that goes great with what we're talking about. So this part um, is something that Serena Institute puts in here for us. And I don't have like a, technically a transcript of the video, which would be more compliant um, and accessible for everybody. I don't have that, so I'm going to do my best. And basically, like a transcript would not only um, show the text of what's being said, but it would also have in parentheses explanation of what is what you you would see in the video. And since I don't have that, I'm going to do my best. And I just found her talk um, on the church website, and I'll put a link to that, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so back to my module here. I'm just going to take all of this, just going to highlight up to there, and I'm going to delete it. Okay. And then I'm going to put my cursor where I want my video to be. So this canvas has updated how you can embed videos in your pages, and it's super easy, and I'm super glad that they updated how you do it. it took me a while to figure it out. Okay, so here I am on YouTube. This is the video I want to share. So I'm just going to go down here and click share. And then I'm going to click embed. Then this is this is what we need to tell the page what we want it to look like and what we want it to do. So I'm going to hit copy. And that's going to copy that whole text for me. I don't even have to highlight it or anything. And then I'm going to go back to my page. And then over here, I'm going to go to these three dots and click it. And then you see this little cloud icon? That's the new embed button. So you're gonna click that and then just right click and paste. Okay. And then you're just gonna hit submit and there's our video. Okay. 
So then below it, I want to kind of uh, replicate the style that was already there and just put link to Sister Bingham's, ooh, Sister Bingham's talk united and accomplishing, what is the whole title? Accomplishing God's work. Okay, so then I'm, I've got my text here. Then I'm going to go back to the talk, the website. Just going to double click on the website address and right click and copy. Then I'm going to go back to my uh, module here. Okay, and then I'm going to highlight this text here. I want to make sure you guys can see this. Okay, I'm going to move this over here somewhere. I don't know where the best place is. Okay, so I've highlighted the text here. And then when you want to um, create a link, you just go up here to this little link looking button and you click the arrow. And this is an external link. It's not within my course, like it's not in another module. It's not an announcement or anything like that. So I'm going to click external link. And then you just paste um, the web address in there and click done. And then that gives you the link down there. Then all you have to do is scroll down and hit save. Okay, and so now my devotional page is updated and I can just click this video to test it. During the time between that marvelous beginning in the Garden of Eden. Okay works great and you can see what I'm talking about like ambient music video pops up here and an Elder Holland talk pops up here so it's really just going to be based on what your students watch on YouTube. Alrighty so that is our tutorial for adopting and adapting and using video in your um, Canvas modules. Um, if you have any questions, need clarification, you can always comment on the video and I'll be happy to help you out. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.